What's the most unexplainable thing you've ever seen? I used to live in a house with two roommates. Let's call them Anna and Erica. I lived on the second floor and Anna and Erica lived downstairs. Every night I would hear this thud, thud coming from downstairs. I would investigate and it always came from Anna's room. I thought it was her doing burpees or working out at night, which seems dumb looking back. I never talked to Erica about it because I thought it was in my head and since I was on the second floor it never really bothered me. Fast forward two years and we all move into a new house with another roommate. Anna, Erica, and I live on the same floor upstairs. I start hearing the thud, thud louder now. I go up to Anna's door and it sounds like she's hitting herself against a wall and whispering and crying or laughing. I also noticed when she left the room she had her sheets all scattered on the floor. I ask my other roommate Erica about it and she says she hears it too. Anna starts staying at her parents' house more often, but every time she comes home we hear the same thud, thud noise. We started asking Anna about it and she makes up excuses like I was moving furniture or my porch door was swinging open. After we started questioning her more, she only came to our house maybe once a month to pick up some clothes. It was so strange. I never think we'll get an explanation. I used to live in the middle of nowhere. The town had less than 200 people in it. I used to work through the night in one of the metro areas and it was about a 40 minute drive with about 15 of it on a county road. I used to think I would see shit in the fields, coyotes, deer, etc., all the time. Never thought twice. Well, one morning I was on my way home, about 3 a.m., and we had a little bridge to cross right before we got to our road. As I'm closing in on crossing the bridge I can see something pearl white just hanging out in the middle of the road. Thought it was probably a swan and it would move. As I got closer I realized that swans are not that big. I was in a F-150 and it was at eye level with me. When its wings opened up it literally covered both lanes of traffic. I swerved to miss it, but hit some of the wing. I slammed on my brakes and turned around. Whatever it was was 100% gone without a trace. Never saw it again. If it was a bird, that's the ducking biggest bird I have ever seen. I work as an adult novelty store manager with a theater so please envision the kind of customers I get. I had this regular who was nice enough and we always exchanged pleasantries and small talk. One day we said goodbye and as he went to leave he stopped dead in his tracks and came back to the counter. He told me that he ignores it every time but today it wouldn't let him. So naturally I ask what the hell is he talking about. He proceeds to tell me that there is an older black man who is with me 24-7. He sees him every time I'm in the store. The older black man just stands next to me watching me and smiling. At that point a chill ran up my spine because no one in that store knows besides my boss that I'm half black and my 65 year old black father that I was so close to past in 2014. I said the usual wow and oh my god so I wouldn't give anything away to see what else he says to see if it's legit. The customer proceeds to tell me that the man, my father, is sad about about his kids not doing what he's asked them to do and one particular child I has greatly disappointed him. The man. My father, also wants the customer to tell me how much he loves his wife even though she's married again. At this point I have tears in my eyes because how would this man know there's conflict between me and my siblings because of my dad's death? How would this man know my mother is married again? He kept mentioning that he could feel a strong religious pull with my father. My father was a preacher. He told me a bunch of other things and asked if I was pregnant. I told him no but apparently my next child will have my father's soul according to him. My two-year-old son looks like my father and loves his favorite songs. I have never seen that man again. It has been almost 10 years and I still don't have anything that's somewhat close to an explanation of what happened then. My best friend and me were sleeping over at her grandma's house and enjoying the newly renovated attic as it was supposed to become her little teenager apartment. All new furniture with a huge comfy couch and nice clean board screwed to the wall. Sleepover went just like you would imagine it. Two 15 yo girls painting nails watching DVDs and talking about the hottest gossip at school. It was already like 3 a.m. when we decided to go get some sleep and left the room to sleep in the bed next door. Only a few minutes later we heard a little scratching sound followed by a loud bang clearly coming from the room we just left. One of the boards that were screwed to the wall was lying on the floor. Almost 4 meters away from where it was supposed to be. Not like the screw broke and it fell, nope. Solid 4 meters away from that wall almost two centimeters deep hole in the ground where the board was laying. The holes in the wall looked like something grabbed that board and pulled it straight out ripping the wood and concrete it was drilled to. I still get goosebumps remembering it. 
Back in 2016 my mother was staying at my place because my father was in the hospital at the time and my apartment was right next to the hospital. One night I had this dream that the landline rings and my mother answers the phone and hears the news that my dad has passed away. She hangs up the phone and tells me that my uncle, a doctor at the hospital my father was in, just gave her the news of my father's passing. I wake up startled. I have a drink of water, and just as I start feeling relieved that this was all just a bad dream. The phone rings and my mom picks it up. I was just watching her from a distance noticing the expression on her face noticing the tears that started dripping down her cheek, and she hangs up the phone and tells me that my uncle just told her that my father has passed away. I was driving with someone through a very odd, small town in Arizona. As soon as we entered the city limits, I felt this extreme heaviness. Very surreal, dark, almost like a shroud of evil. As soon as we exited the limits, we both, not having spoken in a few minutes, said, did you feel that? We both did. It was really weird. About a month later, I was reading Time magazine, I think it was Time, and there was an article about that town and how it is so well known for cult-like polygamy and child marriage, etc. that explained a lot. My father died when I was 15. In my freshman year of college, me and my roommate in the dorms were somewhat close, but really had only been known each other for a month when the creepy thing happened. I hadn't told her much about my childhood, but she knew that my father had passed. One day she woke me up and asked me, did your father used to call you, insert silly's childhood nickname here? I hadn't heard that name since I was 6 or 7. I definitely never told her that he used to call me that, as it was a repressed memory that I hadn't thought about in a long time. Anyway, as it turned out, she had a dream that my father had come to her, and asked her to take care of me, calling me by this silly childhood nickname. It was always difficult for me that my father never saw me graduate high school or start college. But I guess he did, from wherever he is now. When I was 20 I visited a town in Italy that has a number of medieval towers that you can climb. My girlfriend didn't want to climb any, so I went up one on my own and was the only person at the time doing so. It was a sunny day when I entered the tower. There was a flight of stairs that wound around the edge of the tower and no windows. Climbing the tower took at the very most five minutes at the top of the stairs there was a ladder and a trapdoor that opened up onto the roof of the tower. When I opened it, I found the weather had changed dramatically and was overcast and threatening. I don't remember if there was thunder or not, but I was genuinely concerned about lightning, being at the top of a tall tower in that weather. I cautiously climbed out onto the roof just to have a quick look before going straight down. The roof was surrounded with a sort of metal cage of bars that were clearly intended to prevent anyone falling slash jumping off the tower. I heard some thunder and saw electricity arc between some of the bars, not a blinding lightning strike, just arcing. I decided that the tower was imminently going to be struck and descended as quickly as I could. At the bottom I was surprised to find the weather was again sunny with a clear sky. My girlfriend could tell I was shaken, and was amazed when I told her I thought that maybe there had been lightning, the weather hadn't changed whilst I'd been up the tower. I've started to tell the story a couple of times, but it's just too weird to expect anyone to believe. I have literally no explanation. I'm very much a skeptic when it comes to the paranormal, I'm not religious, and I've had no other weird experiences like this. In short, I'm not your stereotypical spooky things happen to me kind of person. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.